Hi, this is Al Woods of Woods Recruiting. I'm a teacher. I used to be one of you. I was a college scout from 1989 until 2018. 29 years in the business. So I want to teach it now. Back in 2013 and 14, I did training programs I with my recruiting service. And then I actually worked with a recruiting service for about eight months, helping them get 25 or so scouts, training them, that sort of thing. The program was really good, but I went back into scouting. But I really enjoyed the teaching part of it. A lot of people signed up for the program, and I was teaching them and showing them how to be college scouts. My my reasoning behind the training program, and it was called the intensive training program, was the negative images out there about college scouts. And a lot of it is the fault of a lot of recruiting services. They do a terrible job. Uh, but I'm thinking it's not all their fault. I think it's it's lack of fundamentals, lack of understanding how to put it all together, how to actually get kids to the next level, all of those details that a lot of them don't know how to do. They all have great intentions. They want to help kids get to the next level, and that's great. But fundamentals was lacking what I saw. Many recruiting services would start up gun-ho with their business each and every year, brand new re recruiting services pretty websites, beautiful business cards, great logo, the whole thing. And then a year, year and a half later, they're out of business. And I'm like, well, why? With so much enthusiasm, why is it dead in, in a year, a little over a year? I've been down in the dirt, trench warfare. I've been at games. I went to camps. In the 90s, when I was getting my recruiting service off the ground, I used to, I was still working a full-time job, and I would actually take vacation time, sometimes a week's worth of vacation time, just so I could go to a basketball team camp that lasted over a week. That's how dedicated I was to the sport, to recruiting. And so I was at this team camp once. It was at Robert Morris College back in the 90s, Robert Morris University or whatever it's called. It was over a thousand players there. I just brought my whole box of business cards, the whole box, 500 cards, and started talking to players. A lot of them who uh, were in the gym playing, when they weren't playing, they were in the dorm. Well, guess where I was? I was in the dorm. So I, I've been down in the dirt. I've been in hot, sweaty gyms. I've been at football games. Here uh, in the uh, Cleveland, greater Cleveland area and beyond, you, a lot of the schools are close together, a lot of the high schools. So I used to watch a game a ha uh, until halftime, jump in the car, race across town, and see the, uh, the kickoff, the third quarter of another game. So I could sometimes attend two high school football games on a Friday night. I wanted to be seen. I wanted to be out there. I wanted coaches to see me, players to see me. I didn't really know the parents at that time, but I wanted to be seen. So I was dedicated down in the dirt, down in the trenches. Uh, in the summer months, I would drive around all over the city of Cleveland and beyond the suburbs, east side, west side, uh, going to open gyms, high school gyms, rec centers, YMCAs, wherever a ball was being bounced, I was there. In the beginning, I, I focused on basketball and football. Eventually, we added other sports, but those were the two sports I knew the most about I knew a lot about baseball, but I focused on two. But I've been down in the dirt, down in the trenches, down in it. And that's where you are. And that's where I want to help you become better. Look, we, we need more recruiting services, okay? We need more recruiting services. We need more college scouts, but we need good recruiting services. We need great college scouts. And don't get it twisted. There's enough business out here for all recruiting services to succeed, to capitalize on the abundance of student athletes. Think about this, and I'll close. Think about this. They say maybe 1% of all the high school student athletes are going to play at the Division I level, you know, on scholarship. But 99%, that's millions, who need representation who need ex recruiting help, who need exposure help, who need, their parents need to be educated on the recruiting process. That's a lot of student athletes out there. That's millions. 
They all need representation, representation. And that's where you come in. Get out there and get the job done. And I'm going to help you and show you how to do it through this website. So stay tuned for as much content and everything I know about this business. I'm going to share it with you. This is Al Woods, Woods Recruiting. Thanks for listening. As always, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I appreciate everything you're doing, and I really, really appreciate you.